channel if you are new here welcome ever since the Mayel video where I did a review on their clay mask and I really didn't care for it after that video I did my own DIY clay mask just to show you the comparison of why I liked mine better than that one so after that I did get quite a few requests to show you guys how I make mine and it's so super duper 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 simple so I'm gonna show you guys how I make mine we're gonna apply it and I'll show you how it looks when I wash it out so let's get started okay you guys so this is gonna be one of the easiest masks that you could ever make but it's super effective make sure you're using a plastic bowl and plastic spoon or fork or you can even use wood just make sure you're not using metal because you don't want to decrease the potency and efficacy of the clay and i'm using the og aztec indian healing clay because it's super easy for anybody to get and i'm using the lily of the desert aloe vera juice i usually use this inner fillet but i think i want to try the whole leaf one to see how good that one is then of course we're going to use our apple cider vinegar from Bragg's that's the only brand that I use and of course we have to use the one with the mother I don't know what the mother is or what she does what she's for but we have to have her she's she's necessary and then we're going to use this wild growth oil normally I would use my hair growth oil that I make but I chose to use this one because I just wanted to use it up but I do like it and it's an oil that you can go get at your local beauty supply store I do like the oils that are in here it does have coconut oil though so if you can't use coconut oil just use whatever oil you like so we're going to start off with our clay and I usually start off with a small amount because I know I can add to it and make more so I don't want to put too much in so this is the clay if you never used it and I'm just going to put some in our bowl. Then we're going to go in with our apple cider vinegar. Make sure you give it a good shake. Shake up that mama in there and then pour some in there. Don't pour too much. So I try to stir it while I'm pouring and it'll start bubbling up and then it'll start to mix and you'll know if you need to add more or not. I try to get the clay like kind of clumpy before I decide that I want to go back in and add more. And then once I add more, I'll just continue to stir that up to loosen it up a little bit more. I'm sorry, you guys, I do not use measurements. I mean, even when I'm cooking, I don't use measurements. But if you are into DIYs and you like measurements, definitely check out Sheree Del Sol's channel. She is taking over the DIY game and she is good about giving you guys measurements. So definitely check out her channel. So I like to add more clay before I start adding other ingredients and I knew I needed more clay because I like to have a lot of it. I'm heavy handed, which y'all already know from my other videos. So I need to have a lot of clay. So now I'm going in with the aloe vera juice and of course I'm not measuring. I'm just going to pour some in there. Not too much though, just enough so I can start getting it to turn into a nice smooth and creamy consistency. Don't worry if you still have some lumps in there. We still got some stirring to do, so it will smooth out even more. Don't worry about it. And now we're going to go in with our oil. So with this oil, I usually just take like three big squeezes of it. And that's usually enough. Not sure how much that is. But you can just eyeball it and put in enough that you think you need. It definitely looks really weird at first. And you want to start slow because you don't want to splash your oil all over the place. So it'll look weird at first, but you just keep on stirring and keep stirring and it will turn into a nice, smooth, creamy consistency and you will be ready to apply it. So here we are with a nice, smooth, creamy consistency. Of course, you can always use a hand mixer if you want it to be even more smooth. You can do that. But I just like to stir it with my hands and it comes out just fine. Now, if you want to either store this in the fridge because you want to use it tomorrow or you just like a thinner consistency, I just add more of the aloe vera juice and more of the apple cider vinegar just to make it even smoother and creamier and a little looser. So you can either store it or put it in an applicator bottle and squeeze it out. You make the consistency the way you want it to be. Now it's looser, even smoother creamier looks like a mousse okay that's enough stirring let's apply this baby so i'm not gonna bore you guys with showing you how i apply it to my whole head i'm just gonna show you how i apply it to this one section so you can see how my hair looks before i put it on and how it looks in my hair so i'm just spraying my hair down with water to get it saturated and that just helps distribute the clay through your hair even more smoothly 
the clay is super smooth so it's up to you if you want to spray water in your hair you really don't have to but definitely separate each section into subsections so you can make sure it's clearly coating every strand of your hair you want to definitely make sure your hair is saturated with the clay as much as possible make sure you get in your roots real good and i also like to make sure i'm rubbing it all into my scalp as well so make sure you get your scalp because you want to detox your scalp and this is what my hair looks like with the clay all through it it feels good and i can just tell that my hair is gonna be popping and i just twist up each section put a plastic cap on my hair for 30 minutes before i jump in the shower to rinse it off if you have a steamer you can also sit under your steamer so that the clay can really penetrate into your strands even more and the steam will provide more moisture for you so that's also an option so i'm gonna play some music so y'all can watch how i get my curls in formation okay y'all that's how the magic happens hair is moisturized soft curls is popping and reset it's affordable and easy to do so thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next one